for the YouTube, the Obac Nest Air Care. Decent blend. Um, in my shut up. So today I wanted to just sort of, uh, I guess, I guess provide an outline. Um, I've been thinking about for a couple months now, actually I guess longer than that, uh, doing some sort of more formalized reviews of pipe tobacco. Um, and uh, got a bunch of chicken scratch here. And so what I wanted to do was provide sort of like a basis for how I'm going to do some uh, forthcoming reviews of different pipe tobacco blends. And many reasons for doing this. One, I just want to sort of get to a lot of the stuff I haven't gotten to yet in my cellar uh, and various baggies that are jarred up. Um, but also just sort of just prompt myself to uh, try some new blends as well. Um, I've got uh, a bunch of the Middle Earth tobacco blend. Um, tried a couple of those so far, they're very nice for reviewing those. Um, I want to explore different sort of parts of the Cornell and Deal blends that not a lot of people talk about. Um, the only review I have up formally at all is one of uh, Or Olam, that, um, just about Cornell and Deal, that Keith Graham gifted me with a sample in a little while, like a long time ago now. But they have a lot more in that series. Um, I want to take a look at the Cornell and Deal Serenity series. I love, love the uh, simple uh, artwork on those. Um, so, I just sort of have uh, some outlines here of what I wanted to do. Um, I'm going to choose a 10 point scale, um, uh, mainly just because, I don't know, I don't want to go into like a 5 point scale and think I have to do maybe like a 4.5 on something, because if you do a 4.5 you might as well just do a 9, right? I don't know. And then I was thinking, well, what sort of units of measure will I do? Will it be stars? Uh, will it be pipes? Uh, will it be something abstract like Richard Simmons's? Um, so what I decided to do instead was um, to just choose uh, the tobacco leaf. So it will be out of a series of uh, 10 fine leaves. So if it gets an 8 out of 10, it gets an 8 out of 10 fine leaves. Um, seems to make sense. Um, and um, so, but what do these mean? Um, before I get into that, um, there'll be a sort of protocol. Um, I guess I'll, I'll be sort of weighing it on how, how well does the blend burn. Um, basically how, it, and also obviously how it tastes, um, and so if it's got casing on it, like how well does that execute, um, uh, also basically things like, uh, end of the bowl experience, uh, do the flavors intensify, uh, do they intensify in a good way or a bad way, um, uh, also is the last third of the bowl like basically bitter goop, um, I mean, even no matter how good the aromatic might be, uh, or even if it's like a Cavendish blend that's slightly cased, if the last third is not good, it's probably going to take some points off. Um, so then on my, uh, I'll probably, I'll smoke it at least a couple times um, before I review it on camera. I won't be smoking them all in a single pipe. Um, mainly, I will smoke probably most of the aromatics in my Meerschaum, but if it's a vapor, I have like a vapor pipe. If it's a burly, I have a burly type pipe. If it's a... Uh, well, you get the idea. So, certain pipes already are sort of 
seasoned with that kind of thing. Um, and hopefully that won't uh, tip the reviews too far in one way or the other. So these all have sort of brief titles, but just, and I don't want to make this too long, but number one, uh, hopefully I don't have, you know, to sort of pronounce this on any tobacco, but number one is called Dreadful. Basically, never again. I would probably decline this in all cases, even if it was offered again uh, by a good friend. I would respectfully say no thanks. Uh, number two is basically not very good. Um, not very good at all. Uh, could be persuaded to try again. Um, maybe it was just a bad, bad batch or something. Number three is blah. Um, maybe it requires more aging, a uh, better ratio blending of one leaf uh, to another, or something like that. Number four, disappointing. This is sort of an odd one, mainly because it might be sort of a catch-all for certain things, like the experience of, oh man, like I was really hoping this would be a good blend, but it just not only did it not live up to expectations, it just was, mm, yeah. And so one through four is basically a, a thumb down of sorts. Now I'm not doing that. Um, other people do those better than me. And five and six is kind of like a hinterland of um, sort of medium, like average to mediocre. Uh, so number five is average. So not bad, but not necessarily good. Nothing too horrible, just not necessarily interesting without being without being too turned off by it. Um, number six is not bad. Um, two syllables on the bad. Um, well balanced, maybe decent flavors, but not not generally very special. Uh, could still be like a forgettable blend in the end. Um, maybe just really inconsistent. So now 7 through 10 are definitely more thumbs up the category. 7, I call very tasty stuff. Um, definitely moving up now. It's definitely a good blend. Um, with some problems, perhaps uh, great flavors, maybe bitter at the end. Um, way too hot, but would definitely merit some returning to. Eight, really outstanding. Balance is just about right on, great taste, um, uh, or aroma, but there's still some like work to do. Um, maybe it's a bit, a bit too many, uh, maybe could come up with a, a too many little butts or caveats there. Number nine, Stellar. Um, now this this is going to be, I mean obviously this is going to be subjective um, to a great extent, um, but it would be something that I, may, I might not be able to quite put my finger on the end why it doesn't get a 10. Um, Maybe just something, just barely, maybe it just was a bit too hot or a bit too this or not enough that, but better than merely really outstanding. Just really good, but mm, I don't know what it is about that blend. But still fantastic to get a nine. I mean, many of the blends will probably get, some of my favorites are probably in there. And then 10, phenomenal. May the stores never be depleted from this blend. Ever. It's all the right notes, it's well balanced, great flavor, burns great, doesn't get yucky. Um, now, room note here, it won't necessarily apply. Um, I might mention it as a part of the reviews, but I don't normally really notice room notes. Um, so. 
Um, hopefully you'll stay with me in the coming months um, for some uh, reviews uh, on my Fine Leaf series. So thank you all for watching. And cheers.